Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial for the Anchor mobile app. This is a great app for recording interviews, podcasts, doing some basic edits, and distributing your work. Here when you launch the Anchor app, you'll see a purple plus sign. Tap on that plus sign and you'll get some different options. Anchor has the option to collect voice messages. So you can use that if you're doing a call out for stories. You can also hit the red record button to record live interviews. What's great about the app too is you can invite friends to join. <clears throat> you can have them join through the web or through their phones and this will provide you a great recording of your interviews. You also have the library area and this includes audio you recorded in Anchor as well as audio that you can import right from your mobile device. You can tap the import um, button at the very top right to import audio you have on your mobile device. You can see I already have some recordings here and in fact I've already set up a podcast with episodes I can add to. So for this exercise I am going to tap on one of the files I have and in this case I'm going to tap on the Latino actor story. So you, you can see here when I tap on those three little um, dots at the end of the file, I can add background music, I can trim it, I can edit it, etc. What I can also do is I can tap on the plus button, the little plus button there, and I can add recording to episode. So that's what I'm going to do right now. This step is critical if I'm going to visualize my audio. So I'm going to close this menu. I've added this to my podcast episode, so I'm going to go back to the main menu of Anchor, and I'm going to tap on the bottom right where it says Your Podcast. You can see here's some episodes that I have here, including that file I was just working with. Now, in order for Anchor to visualize audio, your audio should be under one minute. So make sure if you want to um, visualize your audio piece that it is under one minute. So what I can do here, I've actually already created a video for this. So you will see an option here that says create video. And once you create video, for now I'm going to click on edit video since it's already created, you're going to see this video that gets created for you. So you can play this video and what's nice is if the transcription is incorrect, you can tap on the little pencil button and you can edit that. Um, text. In this way you can ensure that your transcription and your visualization of your audio is correct. And then you know this is already generated so you will get a generated video that you can share and it's as easy as that. Record on Anchor, do some basic edits, and you can visualize a piece of audio that's under one minute. 